Hello, today I will be showing you how to make a Twitch overlay. The first step is create a new project. Click on the advanced options and fill with transparency. Ideally you would have this at 1920 by 1080 if you are streaming. Even if you are streaming in 720p, you can still have your overlay in the border on the outside of your window. Okay. Now, this is simple. You just have to get images. You can make images yourself, or you can just get an image that you already have. Say, I want this flower on my stream. I can just click and drag, scale it down, all the way down. There we go. You just click on the image and lower the opacity so it doesn't take away from your stream so much it blends nicely into the background. How about Twitter logo? If I want people to follow me on Twitter, I can put a picture of the Twitter logo. So I can basically tell them I'm on Twitter. I'm just going to delete the white background. And then I'm going to lower the opacity like that. And I'll put this game controller up here. If you're a gaming channel or something, this might be a nice touch. And the scale's gone funny again. I don't know why it does that. But anyway, we'll just shove that there and. Load the opacity. This is my Twitch overlay. It's got my logo, the Girl Gamers logo, and just saying join the Girl Gamers group. It's just a simple overlay for whatever I stream on Twitch. Now I'll show you here. This is my streaming profile. If I make this bigger. You'll be able to see what my overlay looks like. And when I'm streaming, whatever game footage is going on the screen, this will be displayed on top of it. So as long as you lower the opacity on your images, it should blend in nicely in the background. So it's not taking away from the experience. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. It is quite simple to do a Twitch overlay. And some other time, I'll be showing you more OBS, Twitch sort of stuff, like, next time I might, hmm, show you how to set up a CLR browser, or setting up a Twitch stream, something like that, so be sure to stay tuned for more OBS, Twitch tutorials.